Today I'm going to be shooting a few of my slingshots, sling bows. Um, some I've shot before, others I haven't. I've shot this one a little bit, but not much. It's a uh, PFS or pickle fork shooter style um, sling bow. It just goes straight over the top of the hand like that. It's got a small power cord wrist brace on it as well. This one is a stainless steel um, sling bow made from a piece of stainless steel rod. Um, the idea is um, that you can have it as a sling bow or you can flip this down and have it as a conventional slingshot made out of a single piece of stainless steel wrapped with power cord. I've also fitted a small piece of power cord just for a knock for arrows so you can either have it attached for um, sling bow shooting or if you want to go back to sort of conventional slingshot shooting you just pull it out of the way and it's, it's tucked out of the way. Uh, I've done a video on this one shooting before it's got the triple TheraBand gold on it it's a bit chunky but I really like it, it shoots really really well very accurate and uh, quite powerful um, I've not shot this one before it's a whisker biscuit style sling bow it's got triple TheraBand gold it's quite thin so it can fit in a jacket pocket um, or trouser pocket um, or pack away in a pack um, so I've not shot that one, looking forward to shooting that one this one is um, some people love it, some people hate it a bit of a Marmite style sling bow it's got a metal arrow rest but I use feather fletching so that shouldn't damage the arrows at all it's got a pistol grip, rubberized as you can see very wide forks and I've done them as a uh, like a recurve design I'm hoping that the bands will flow around them a little bit on release um, so it won't slam into the centre area too much but I'm not convinced it's going to work that well and very similar to this one um, is another type with the wider forks this time I've got a homemade toothbrush um, whisker biscuit I've done a video on how to make that um, hasn't got a pistol grip with the finger grooves but it's just a bit more moulded um, actually feels nicer in the hand it's also it's triple TheraBand gold um, as you can see I've got the uh, my own sort of style of um, knocking string arrow um, capture on there I've made a paracord wrist brace for this as well just to aid a little bit more um, support these are quite powerful to draw back so um, I think a little bit of a wrist brace might assist with that right we'll give these a go and see how they shoot before I shoot them I'm going to test the poundage um, see what they're drawing I've no idea I think the TheraBand black is going to be very light that one I'm guessing is going to be uh, about 20 pound ish maybe no idea what these triples are going to be um, this one's got the most powerful bands they're not tapered they're straight one inch all the way through this one's tapered um, that one's straight but it's only um, double this one's triple but they are tapered um, that was very easy to draw like I said I think this one is going to be the most powerful Okay, to test the um, sling bow draw weight, we're going to be using a set of scales and going to use um, one arrow length, just drawing it from this point down to here. Just see what sort of poundage roughly they're drawing. I know it's not very scientific. So I'll go with the uh, lightest one first. I don't think it's going to draw between 15 and 20 pounds. 16 pounds. Next, I'll use this stainless steel sling bow. That's 26 pounds. Next, this one. Twenty-eight pounds. Pocket sling bag. Twenty pounds. The 
uh, toothbrush whisker biscuit stock. Twenty-eight pounds, and the metalware arrest. This one's going to be the most powerful, I'm guessing. Thirty-six pounds. Right, well, sure, let me see how they get on. I'll shoot the PFS first with uh, triple black Therabands. It's only £16 draw weight, so that'd be good for a junior or someone that can't pull the heavier bands. Yeah, nice easy action. Very easy draw. All my sling bows use the same paracord not release aid. Don't need a mechanical aid, just use your hand. Next is stainless steel rod sling bow. Also does up as a conventional slingshot with a uh, another power cord knock. Release aid. You can just move out of the way or use it as a slingshot. shot this one before, there's a video on there when I first tested this one. It's one of my favourites, which is a bit chunky. Yeah, nice one. I've not shot this one before. It's the pocket sling bow with a whisker biscuit, very thin. Whisker biscuit's adjustable, so if you're shooting over the top, you can adjust um, your height. If you're shooting side shooter, you've got your, your windage, so elevation windage. More of a gimmick, I don't think it's that practical, just for a bit of fun. Yeah, another one shoots nice. This is my fault, look, that's a broken knot. New arrow. It's better. Next, I've gone to the wider forks once. I used the one with the uh, toothbrush whisker biscuit. Some people have some doubts whether it would be any good and it would damage the arrows. But we'll see. Holds it nicely. Just make sure your fletchings line up with the uh, toothbrushes. It's going to pass through the gaps in the toothbrushes. Last but not least, the most powerful one, 36 pounds in weight, with the standard metal hour rest in the middle. Definitely more 
Uh, they all hit the target box. I'll do a comparison test on the 16 pound draw weight uh, PFS sling bow and I'll compare it with the 36 pound um, one on the end. And we just see the difference between 16 and 36, so 20 pounds difference. Let's see what difference it makes on penetration. three hours of each. So this one's 36. You can actually hear it thudding into the target much harder. Okay, there's a quick uh, penetration test on the 16 pound um, PFS sling bow and the 36 pound. Just to give you an idea of how deep these go. Okay, that's a PFS, a couple of inches. Not even an inch. And again, a couple of inches. Okay, much deeper. There you go. So you can see the difference 20 pounds in draw weight can make. <laughs> 